Hey, what is up everyone? I am starting off in a project that I have already been working on. All that I have done here is created a composition like this and I have chosen the colors that I want my rainbow to be. So before you get started, just go ahead, do the same thing, choose your own colors and this is going to make your life a little bit easier down the track. Let's jump right into it. I'll just put my one to the side over here and I am going to go ahead and create a new composition. And I'm going to call it Animated Rainbow. I want it 1920 by 1080, uh, 25 frames per second, 10 seconds long. Cool, and I am just going to bring in my colors down below. And then I'm going to create a new solid and this is just going to be a background. And then I am going to go layer new null object. I am going to rename my null controller and I'm going to come over to effects and presets, type in slider control and I want to drag three of these onto my null object. I am going to name the first one path trim, the second one x offset and the third one y offset. So these are going to control my expressions that I'm going to use to create our animated rainbow. So we're going to put that aside for now. Just make sure that your rainbow colors are visible um, just for ease and we're going to grab a pen tool. Uh, make sure you're not clicked on your background and we're going to create our first rainbow stroke. I'm not going to go too complicated here. Um, I'm imagining all sorts of really cool things that you could do actually with something animated, an animated rainbow specifically. But for demonstration, I'm just going to keep it really quick and simple. So this is what I ended up with. Yes, I think of it. I am happy with this. Okay, so this is my first rainbow stroke. I'm going to name this rainbow one. Then we are just going to change the color really quickly and easily by grabbing the colors from the side. Now, open up your rainbow and we are going to go to add trim paths. And for this one, just go to end. Um, well, this is obviously the end, so I'm gonna put this at about five seconds and I'm gonna drag this back to zero and now I have a really basic animation. Let's speed that up just a little bit. Cool, I'm not going to go any complication, any thing complicated here. Yeah. I think that's nice. Uh, so, click on our rainbow, control D, drag this underneath and straight away we are going to drop down to our trim paths and we are going to delete these keyframes and we are going to drop in an expression right here. So. I will drop this in the description down below. Alt click on end and paste this expression and immediately you're going to get this yellow bar. Okay and this is because your layers are not hooked up properly. Um, so this is calling for you can see right here it says your controller layer and this is that one right here, it wants the name. So I'm gonna copy the name and come back to it and paste it here. And here it wants your shape name, 
which would be the original stroke in this case. Um, and there is one more thing that you should know and that is this is the name of your slider. It can, you can see it right here. So if you have named your slider something different, you can see this path trim. It is. It has to be exactly the same or it's not going to work. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and change the color of the stroke now to here. Um, and you won't see any difference and I'm just going to grab another expression so now we are going to go to the transform and hold down alt on the position and drop this expression in here and again you're going to see this yellow bar and this is because our names are wrong again. So um, I've actually named my controller exactly the same so you won't need to worry about this but my rainbow is actually called rainbow one. Now that we have done this you should be able to go to your controller. So now you can adjust your sliders and it will be you will be able to have your second one following the animation um, on an offset and you can even adjust the stroke no uh, sorry the path trim now this just has to be really minimal to have an effect um, see so you can obviously go much further behind or much further forward but it's just such it just only has to be a really small amount that you are altering it. I don't really want any offset on my path trim but I just thought that uh, someone might offset it all. But now you have one rainbow done you can you can go ahead control D to just duplicate these uh, drag them one under the other and you can just go to each one and adjust the colors of the rainbow And you can easily just go in and adjust your slider. Once you are happy, um, I'm just going to go ahead, pre-compose. Now, when you pre-compose, I was going to say pre-compose all of these rainbow colors, but you have to pre-compose your controller with it because if you do not pre-comp that tr controller in there with it, um, I'll actually just show you. I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose my rainbow and my expression is broken. So to fix that I'm just going to take my controller in with it. Also your controller has to be down at the bottom because you can see here this is also affecting the expression and it's to do with the index. Uh, that we have so make sure and drag that controller right down to the bottom and I am just going to on top of uh, my composition I'm just going to place a radio blur a radio fast blur I think that is nice um, I'm just going to really quickly create 
some stars. And chuck the starburst. On here. I like to drag the scatter way up and bring the speed way down. And I will switch this off. And that's it. That is how you create an animated rainbow with an After Effects. If you made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you have achieved what you came here to achieve if you want to learn more after effects then make sure to subscribe because this is the kind of content i post here on this channel i post motion design and vfx tutorials have a really good day and make sure to click on this next video because this is the one that youtube thinks that you should watch next bye